Well, the idea for this spot really started about uh, a couple of years ago. I was having a conversation with a group of our, our deacons and we were talking about uh, the, the requirement that our church has for uh, someone to be a tither before they can even be considered as being a deacon in the life of our church. And uh, one of the deacons commented, not in a negative way, but just as a, a point of curiosity, he said, I would be, uh, I'd be curious as to the giving patterns of our ministerial staff. And I was really kind of taken back by that because I, I just assumed that, that everyone knew uh, that it was just a given that all of our staff, uh, our ministerial staff, that uh, we all tithe, we all give a storehouse tithe. The reason I thought that it was so important for this to be communicated is because I would never want our church family to think that we are asking something something of them that we're not practicing in our, in our own life. Uh, my, my journey in, in this area of stewardship really began uh, soon after my conversion. Uh, I was given two books when I became a Christian at the age of 21. I was given Dietrich Bonhoeffer's uh, The Cost of Discipleship, and then another book entitled Beyond Conversion. And Beyond Conversion was a book that had a, a series of chapters uh, about certain disciplines that ought to be practiced in the life of a believer. And it talked about uh, tithing and giving and being a regular contributor uh, to the life of a church. And so I, I just started immediately. And then when uh, I married, uh, Patty and I, we just uh, were committed to that being a part of, of the rhythm of our own life. Uh, our goal was to tithe 10% to the church, uh, and then save 10%, and then live off the 80%. And uh, there's been times and seasons uh, in our marriage and our family when we haven't been able to save 10%, but, but the idea of the tithe, uh, that's never been negotiable. And, and it's even given good education opportunities for our children. But what was so important to me, and as you'll see in subsequent uh, weeks, is I wanted you to hear from, from not just me, but each one of our ministerial staff, uh, and hear about their personal stewardship. Uh, because again, it's so important to us that you recognize and that you understand that we would never ask something of you uh, that we're not practicing uh, in our own life. We recognize that it's impossible to lead people to a place uh, where you haven't been yourself. And so we're committed to the storehouse tithe uh, because we believe that, that it is the local church uh, that the Lord uses not just to, to reach out to the community, uh, to be a missional people, but the local church is also the means by which we minister to one another. So I hope these are a blessing to you in the weeks to come.